Theodor Rethke is considered by many to be one of the greatest poets of the 20th century. Rethke was born on May 25, 1908, in Saginaw, Michigan, to Otto and Helen Rethke. Rethke's parents and his uncle Charles owned a local greenhouse. During his childhood years, Rethke spent a lot of time in the greenhouse where he developed a great fondness and admiration for nature. He had a very difficult childhood. In February of 1923, his uncle, Charles, committed suicide. In April, his father died of cancer. These tragic deaths had an immense impact on Rethke, not only as a person, but as a writer. Since a young age, Rethke was a talented writer. His speech on the Junior Red Cross was published in 26 languages. In 1925, Rethke became a student at the University of Michigan at Ann Arbor, making him the first in his family to receive higher education. After graduating with honors, Rethke enrolled in Michigan Law School, but soon dropped out deciding to pursue a career in literature. In 1930, he entered Harvard Graduate School, but was forced to drop out because of financial problems. He became a professor at Lafayette. During the same year, three of his poems were published in a magazine called The Harp. Five years later, Rethke attends Michigan State College and has his first mental breakdown. In 1936, while teaching at Penn State, he falls in love with Kitty Strokes, a librarian who convinced him to publish a book of his poetry. In 1941, his first work, Open House, is published. He then left Penn State to become a professor at Bennington College. During this time, Rethke worked on a collection of poems for his second book, The Lost Son and Other Poems, which is soon published in 1948. He then became a professor at the University of Washington. The following year, he decides to focus on his poetry and moves back to Saginaw. Rethke is admitted to a sanitarium when he returns to Seattle due to the stress that writing his third book placed on him. His third book, Praise to the End, is published in 1951. In 1952, he marries Beatrice O'Connell, a former student. In 1953, The Waking is published. After suffering a minor mental breakdown in November of that year, his mother dies. Within a matter of weeks, Rethke receives the Pulitzer Prize for The Waking. Rethke continued suffering from mental health problems and reoccurring mental breakdowns. He published The Exorcism in 1957 and Words for the Wind in 1958. He received the Bullingen Prize and the National Book Award for the latter. In 1962, Rethke was presented with an honorary Doctor of Letters from the University of Michigan. On August 1st of 1963, Rethke dies of a coronary occlusion. I don't see anyone else that has the kind of deep gut vitality that Rethke's got. Whitman was a great poet, but he was no competition for Rethke. Rethke wrote a reasonably good prose. It still would have taken a keen eye to detect the mature poet beneath the layers of undergraduate baby fat. Rethke's life shaped his writing. His father died when he was still a young boy. In the poem, My Papa's Waltz, a young boy is waltzing with his father. Rethke may have fond memories of him dancing with his own father. He wrote this poem in order to commemorate his father and share with the reader a precious childhood memory. His poems have a controlled grace of movement and his images the utmost precision, while the expression of a gnomic wisdom, which is peculiar to him as he attains an austerity of contemplation and a pair, spare strictness of language, very unusual in poets of today. The whiskey on your breath could make a small boy dizzy, but I hung on like death. Such waltzing was not easy. We romped until the pans slid from the kitchen shelf. My mother's countenance could not unfrown itself. The hand that held my wrist was battered on one knuckle. At every step you missed, my right ear scraped the buckle. You beat time on my head with a palm cake bar by dirt. Then waltzed me off to bed 
still clinging to your shirt.